In this video, I'm going to be showing you a simple but effective passing concept to current beat the current dollar three two six meta defense out of the U trips formation. Uh, I think that U trips is one of the most underrated offenses this year. I think it's just super powerful, and we're going to show you in this video how to use this offense uh, to be able to beat some of the more popular things that you're probably going to be seeing online. So the play that we're going to be taking a look today is the play scat out of U-Trips, and we're going to show you how to use this play to really attack man uh, at a pretty high level. So, really simple setup uh, for you guys here, but if you want to get my full U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon for just $10. You'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, uh, including the U-Trips offense, as well as any updates that we make to that. So, if you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description below. Uh, what's interesting about U trips is the spacing that you have with this and also the effectiveness of specifically this tight end route. This tight end is really powerful in this offense, and we're going to make him even more powerful with simple um, concepts, okay? So what we're going to do here, real simple, is we're going to motion over Julio Jones, and you're going to see that we can turn him into a post, now from there, we you know can kind of essentially do whatever we want from there. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and streak Chris Godwin, block my running back, and drag my tight end. So as you see here, this is going to be a nice little systematic read. So our first read on the play is, of course, the tight end. The tight end is probably the first read on almost every play in this formation, and we want to force them to have to think about when defending this formation that they're going to have to stop the tight end. So what you'll see here, and again, if we have a little better tight end with short and elite, but notice that against man, he does a really good job of just getting us some simple, easy yards against man to man. Even though they're playing man, even though my tight end is not the fastest tight end, oftentimes you will still see him be able to beat man coverage uh, across the formation. I'll show it to you one more time. So you see here again, and he's playing against one of the faster corners. And so you're seeing here that, you know, he's able to get across the formation and, and give us a, a nice, easy read for our, for our offense, okay? Now, the next read that we want to have here is then we want to look to our post over the middle. And so what you'll see here, as long as I don't get shed into death, is this post route to the slot whenever we motion him over is pretty effective. So... Uh, again, you can you can snap him in motion if you want to, um, but what I find, and I think he runs it a little better if you don't, but you see there, just real simple, easy read for your offense, wide, wide open. So they're going to basically have to make a decision. Am I going to go guard the tight end, or am I going to go guard the post? That's basically the decision that they're going to have to make. So their user in this example is going to say, well, we're going to go guard, we're going to go guard the post, Okay. So they're going to go guard the post. So what this is going to leave open is this backside dig as well. You see how simple this backside dig is against man coverage. This little rounded in route is really effective at beating man, especially when you give him space to be able to work himself open. So you see here, real simple, um, you know, easy, easy route. I don't know why he's having so much trouble getting off the jam, uh, but if you have a pretty good, if you put it, you could also put him on an in route. If for whatever reason you don't like that other in route, this idea of just double ends is really what we're going for here. So you see just that simple separation that we're getting, and it's going to be really important to have this because in man coverage, um, in man coverage, they're going to oftentimes leave this wide open. Okay. Now on the left side here, you can, um, depending on what you want to do. Let's say you have a hot route master. You can make this even crazier. You can do something like a C route and a post. This is a super underrated play, super underrated concept, because against man, that C route is going to just absolutely cook to that sideline. So if you have the ability, which we have Calvin Johnson and Mutt right now who gets wide receiver apprentice, you could put a wide receiver apprentice right here, and then you could put a slot apprentice over here or something. Um and then you could do this for pretty cheap, actually. Um, but this setup right here is super underrated out of this formation because when they're off the line of scrimmage, I just find that they beat man better um, if I, as long as I can make a throw. Um, but, but that's another variation of this play that you could run. Um, 
you know, it's real. You would maybe want to use the play. Um, oh, what's the play? Y option wheel to get the same basic concept here. Um, but you'll see the C route just really is good against man. Real simple, real effective. So if you want to mix in the C route, you certainly can. Um, but against zone coverage, what I want to show you is how powerful this also is. So it's fairly effective against man because it's so well spaced out. The field is so spaced out. Against zone, what you're going to see here is this little window to throw this right there. Now, the streak is kind of just a simple clear-out route for you against zone. It's primarily there for when your opponent wants to run some cover four. Um, but essentially, they have to use her this post route. If they don't use her the post route, it should be open every single time. So you see here, here's cover four, and you see my post is coming wide open against cover four. Okay, and we can do this against every single coverage in the game. It doesn't matter if it's cover three, cover four, cover, they have to use her the post. So what this does is it puts them in a position where they have to use her the post. So to illustrate that, I'm going to man this guy up on him. And what you're going to see is now there's this massive void for this drag right here. So you see how wide open that drag is. Now, if they are, um, let's say, for example, that they come out and they play cover three and they play hard flats on the outside, they won't get a jam on Chris Godwin. And so this little seam streak can be pretty dang lethal against man and zone. So you have that nice seam streak there that you can ag, that you can, you, there's a lot of things you can do with seam streaks this year. So you have a seam streak, it's a great clear out route. It's also really good. Uh, again, like let's say this is man, I want you to watch Chris Godwin. See how a lot of times he gets these little crazy beat press animations. That's not uncommon for you traps. This seam streak is definitely worth a look against man to man because you could just be roasting them over the top. Um, so just kind of an FYI on that. But not only do you have the seam streak, but now you have some more systematic things like the post, like the ends, and all of that stuff that's really simple, really effective, and really difficult to use her. Okay. Um, last thing I want to show you, let's say that they go to cover four, they shade underneath. It's probably the best way uh, to defend this play in zone. I'm going to take my user and backside and go guard the post. And what you'll see is if you wait on this in route, it comes wide open in the zone. So you see how this play can just break down everything that your opponent can do. We are able to space the field really, really well with U trips this year. And these little simple plays like this are super powerful uh, for helping you move the ball up and down the field. Now, if you want to get my full U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. The link is down below. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of our ebooks as well as all of our updates. And we're dropping a brand new ebook today, making it our 13th ebook of the year. So make sure you're in the Patreon so that you can get access to that. If you want to sign up, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.